A very good evening to one and all. On behalf of the trustees, management, principal, HOD, staffs, and the students of SA Engineering College. I extend a warm welcome to one and all on this virtual platform. To know more about our college, SA Engineering College was established in the year 1998 and it is successfully continuing its education service beyond 25 years of excellence. SA Engineering College has taken the forefront of technical education through its distinctly different and carefully nurtured standard. The college is approved by AACT New Delhi and affiliated to Anna University accredited by the NBA and also has an A grade from the NAC and also an ISO 9001 and 2015 certified institution. The college believes in preparation for life ahead in all learners and provides every opportunity to grow beyond academics. In view of the same many house programs like placement training, value-added courses, workshop, symposium and guest lectures are also organized to make the industry ready. We all have assembled here today to motivate and cherish the young minds present among us. At this juncture, I feel honored to welcome our resource person of today, Dr. A. Vanita, Associate Professor and HOD, Department of CSE, Agdia Engineering College, Kakinada, Andhra Pradesh. We welcome you, ma'am.
அப்படிங்களா சரி ஓகே very good evening all uh, welcome to the session on iot fundamentals and its application i just want to know whether my voice is audible can anyone confirm so that i'll continue with it yeah your voice is audible ma'am thank you thank you very much uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, dr geeta ma'am for giving me the opportunity to present a session for the students and uh, i am very much privileged for the management of sa engineering college for vari- for providing uh, such a wonderful opportunity to address the young young uh, students who are interested towards the engineering so welcome you all again so i'll go with my presentation so this session is completely about uh, internet of things iot so you would have heard about it so it is internet of things so iot so i would like to present about the introduction of iot followed by its applications so i am dr a vanathi working as associate professor and head of the department in aditya engineering college which is located at kakinada andhra pradesh so my presentation goes in such a way so first what is iot we'll see with that how iot has been evolved so who is the main author for coining this word and how it has been evolved then we'll see how the iot works then we'll go with the applications of iot later with the advantages disadvantages challenges of the iot we'll see mainly about the iot healthcare because health is the main thing so everywhere we are looking for it due to the more number of populations so there is a more importance towards the healthcare also so i would like to go for the iot in healthcare especially then we'll see about some practical applications so i'll be using a, a website called tinkercad where i'll show you that how a simple iot application can be simulated also right 
So first coming to the definition, IoT, that is Internet of Things. Simply saying it is a connection of uh, devices. So connecting the de devices in their world using the Internet is the Internet of Things. Here comes the uh, official definition. It is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical, digital machines, objects, animals, or people that are provided with unique identifiers and ability to transfer the data over a network without requiring or human to computer interaction. So nowadays you can see everything is speaking, right? So no need to have or no need to work also. You can make your entire home to be automated also. You can say simply, you can call Alexa and it can play a song for you. It can play a movie for you. It can make your air conditioner to work. It can make your light to switch on, switch off, depending upon the humidity or depending upon the temperature. So it makes the changes into it. So all this miracle, all these wonderful things are mainly because of this Internet of Things that is IoT. So this will be, this is the main revolution in the entire world also. So we'll be having a protocol called IPv6, right? With the invention of this, the number of addresses generated for each and every devices are increased. And with that, the IoT has been evolved also. This makes each and everything. So you can also see, right? So it is not only the devices, even the animal, people, everyone can be connected together and all can be communicated and they can make the data of uh, transfer to one end to the other end also. So we'll see how the history or IoT has been evolved. So right from the year 1999, the term called in IoT, that is Internet of Things, was coined by Kevin Ashton. So he is the one first who has made the IoT to be revealed to the world. So while working in the PNG, he just came with the concept of RFID. That makes the evolution for this IoT also. Then in the year 2004, a publication, famous publication, Guardian, Boston Globe, and Scientific American, they have mentioned more about the IoT and the future world, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be completely controlled and automated by the IoTs. Then with the ITU, which is the standard organization, so it published the first report on the IoT. So it gives a complete glimpse about what is the IoT, what are the standards, how it is going to be evolved, what will be the market change. Everything has been clearly indicated in the report. And 2008, finally, the IoT was born and it is known to the entire world. And later on, with respect to the areas where it has been used, so the market research company Gartner has given a complete, complete knowledge or complete awareness about this IoT. And it paved many, uh, many more domains to get into their research also. So what exactly the Internet of Things is, right? So I have said that simply it is interconnected. So we'll see in depth, right, how it is going to work and what are the things are going to drive the IoTs. So for the Internet of Things, it needs a sensor and actuators first. We need a devices which is going to communicate with the outside world. Then we need a connectivity where the device will be connected to the world to make the data transfer. And the third one is we need the people and the processes where the collected data is going to be useful for some application and that is going to be given to the outside world also. So these three are the main combination which makes the internet of things to come into a live or a picture into the world also. So we'll see how this works. Right. So it needs a sensor. It is going to be connectivity. Next, it is going to be process. And finally, using some interfaces like application or some software. So we'll be using it and that will be connected to the application and makes it to work also. So these four are the main things which makes IoT to work. So first we'll see about the sensor. Sensor is a device which is used to collect some data from the environment here so we can collect the data about the temperature we can collect the data about the uh, humidity we can collect the data about the pollution we can collect the data about the uh, our heartbeat or uh, glucose level whatever the things is right 
So it's simply a device. So we have many sensors, many devices for every uh, things which has to be getting the data also. And all this data will be at various level of a complexity. So some may be, and it is also with a different type of uh, uh, thing also. Some can be analog data, some can be a digital data, some can be a, uh, what we can call it as a video or audio. So whatever the type of data it is going to be collected using this sensor. And next you can see, right? So here some of the glimpse has been given. So you can see we have a position sensor, we have a motion sensor, and we have a temperature sensor to sense the temper. And we have a humidity which is used to sense the moisture level in the, in the outside world. So we'll use some sound or vibration sensor. And we use some gas sensor, which is to identify any leakage of a gas. <clears throat> and we can also use some sensor, which is to identify the flow of water. And we have some sensor to measure about the load or pressure. So we have some magnetic or electrical sensor and acceleration, acceleration sensor. And regarding the optic, optical ambient light also. A simple example when you can see about the sensor is, so everyone nowadays you are using the mobile phone, right? So you will be having a proximity sensor in the mobile. So what happens is automatically when you take the mobile, when it is in the on, right? When you are in the call, when you are taking it near to your ear, you can see that the intensity of your mobile will be reduced. So this is mainly due to the proximity. So when you are taking it, right? So the lightness will be, the brightness of your mobile will be reduced and it is going to make the radiation also reduced due to this proximity sensor only. And next comes the next component in the IoT is about the connectivity. So we have collected the data. So the collected data has to send to a server or to any other system also. To send the data to it, right, we need some communication medium. So the communication medium can be, you can use a mobile to get connected or you can use a Bluetooth or we can connect it using a Wi-Fi or a WAN also. So depending upon the connectivity, the application can be enhanced to a smaller to the larger extent also. And the next one is, so we have collected and we have transferred to a system or some application using some media. Then what else will be doing it? So we are going to do the process. So we have sensed some data using that sensed data, what we are going to perform it, right? Suppose I, I'm, uh, I'm maintaining a garden. So where I am, I need to water the plant every day here. Instead, I'm going, taking the water and pouring into the plant so I can make it automate. So I can connect the temperature sensor and I can connect the humidity sensor to the sand where my plant has been planted here. So and automatically I'll be connecting to the water tap also. So depending upon the temperature and the humidity level in the soil, so it decides whether the water is required for the plant or not. So based on that, the tap will be uh, switched on and water will be let into the plant or the water will be switched off where it is going to stop it. So this type of a thing will be done during the processing here. So it sends the data about the temperature. It decides, it process, right? Whether the temperature is apt or not, we need to pour the water to the plant or not. So if it is a rainy season, right, the temperature will be low and the water will be enough to the plant also. No need to pour the water by that time, right? So those kind of things will be processed and it is going to make the decision to pour the water or to stop, right? So that's what the data processing unit will do. And coming to the last one, user interface. So all these things will be connected to a an interface where we'll have the end user application. So we can sit in the home, we'll see what is the level of a temperature and what is the humidity, how much of water has been given to the plant. So when the water has been planted, how many days it has been planted. So all those things can be analyzed using this user interface. So we'll have a phone that, take, that tracks each and every day activity and that will be available for the future use also, right? So and another simple example I can say, right? Nowadays, everyone with a smartphone and smart watch also, right? You can track your health condition into it. So it tracks what is your heartbeat, heartbeat is, what is your oxygen level is, how long you have slept. 
So do you have a continuous slip or you have been disturbed in the middle? So everything will be analyzed using the smart tracker app also, right? So it keeps on saying for months together or how many steps you have been walked today. So what is your BMI level is? How far you have to improve it again? So all this analyze will be done with the help of your smart tracker app, right? So that is what we will be calling it as an user interfaces. So we need a sensor, collects the data, then using the connectivity, we'll be sending it to the system where it is going to be processed. And finally, we'll be having the user interface. So where it will be collected and it is going to present it for the future use here, right? So this is a slide where you can see about the architecture of the IODS, right? So you can see, so when you take this place, right? This is your application programming interface, what we can shortly called as an APA. So using the APA, we'll go for the end users. So first thing is, we'll have the sensor. So here in this sense, you can see the various sensors are there. So from the sensors, it will be connected to the device and system. And using some software or the technologies, we'll be giving it to the API where it will be analyzed and processed and it will be given to the UI, UI or uh, we can call it as an interfaces where it can be used by the end users. So here you can see the first one is smart water meters. So it uh, analyzes how much of water has been distributed to the entire city is or to a particular area is, right? So it checks that whether you have any valve leakage or something. So here you have some application called smart distribution valve. And you have an application where it is going to identify about the manholes, right? So you can see many manholes in the main cities or metro cities. So in order to monitor it every time, right, we need a human resources, which is many in number. So that can be avoided by using a smart drainage manhole. So this will be identifying whether you have any blockages or it is going freely, how much of a drainage has been, right? So it is going to be utilized to flow. All the things will be analyzed here. So based on this, it, it can take for the next level where it can identify. So what are the blockages are occur, where the blockages are occur, what are the reasons? So all those things can be analyzed using this, right? And you can also have a smart waste bin, right? So you can... Uh, for every city or uh, places will be having a waste bin so which will be collected by the people from the municipality right they don't know whether the bins are filled or it is empty here so if it is implemented with a smart waste bin then when it is immediately filled it will be sending the notification to the municipality people where it can be cleared easily and it also says that if it has any foul smell right if something has been disposed if it is creating a foul smell, that can also be indicated as a notification to the municipality people so that the environment will be less polluted. So similarly, we have smart surveillance, transportation system and emergency also, right? So all those will be used and it is going to work for the next level of a people also. So we'll see in general what are the IoT applications. So we have seen what is an IoT, how it will be actually then we have discussed about the architecture. Now we'll see about the applications, right? So these are the few applications. So it is many in number, wide in range. It connected to each and every part of the world. So we cannot say it is only belong to a certain domain. So it is connected to all the part, all the area, and all the people will be getting utilized. So two has been displayed here. So one thing is for the healthcare. The second thing is we can make the smart city. And it is used in the connected cars also and mainly used for various tracking system. So we have a parking sensor also. So you would have uh, faced in the Chennai, right? So which is a highly traffic city where you can uh, face many problems for parking your vehicles into it. So this parking sensor help you to identify where you have an empty space and where you can place the things also, right? And thermostats, these are some of the applications here, right? So a description about each and everything. So this is a general idea how this end user or the company side where it has been created a market for the IoT applications are, right? So we have many wearable devices, which is mainly due to the IoT. 
and we have been came up with very smart applications right so it can work without the intervention of the human depending upon the surrounding condition or with the instruction and we have smart building smart home smart tv and this is the one area right which is currently in a research as well as trending also which is called smart farming because agriculture is the main occupation for every country where we are purely depends upon your daily needs also so the farming is also made uh, automated with this internet of things smart health smart city and smart car also so here a uh, sample diagram has been given so where you can have the entire area has been with the automated one here so you can see so if there is a fire it gives you an alarm to the nearby area where it can come into the picture and they can clear the fire easily so you can see about the industry area where it can identify about the pollution which has been right which has been emerged out from my industry that can be measured and it can say time to time so what is the content of the gases if any harmful gases that will be given immediately notification has been given so here you can see a quality of the water right so this is a river or something where it can measure about the quality of the water every time so you can see a bridge here right this bridge is going to identify the health of the bridge so whether the bridge is strong so vibrations are acceptable to the range and the traffic which has been uh, carried out in the bridge is also to the level or not so that is also going to be checked here so you can see many people right the car and the building and the streets are with the smart lighting so nowadays it has been with many places mainly with the smart city with respect to the intensity of your climate or the, the environment the street light will be switched on automatically and switched off also so these are the some of the example and uh, we have many sensors related to the traffic and it can also use the various radiation level and even in the shopping also you can go for it right when you go for a any kind of a shopping we have to pick the item we have to wait for a long time to get it built but uh, you would have heard about amazon go so where you can get a rfid which can track whatever the product you are taking and the bill will be automatically generated and the amount is also going to be debited automatically from your account so there is no need to wait for a longer period to get the item to be delivered also that is also a one of the application of your iot so we can see few uh, applications like uh, right so this is an helmet concussion sensor so where you can see the right this has been connected to the mobile app so here it says that uh, how the right how the people are how the person is driving with that so it will detect about the outside temperature it alerts about the environment pollution and other things also and it makes a person to go safer while he is driving so this is an another one which is called as an amazon dash so which is mainly mainly to reorder your favorite products right so some aged people will be there they'll be going for a medical products to be purchased also so this is the one which makes a product automatically purchase suppose i have purchased 100 tablet today so after the 100 day it automatically reorders for you so it makes the people to get connected always and this is the one which is a kenso thermometer so it monitors the temperature of your uh, younger one so if at all it is going to exceed with the time limit or the temperature level automatically it makes a call to the doctor to get the necessary help and this is another one where it is going to have the information about the connected car so this car will be equipped with uh, iot devices connected to the internet and it has some software which makes the people to get uh, listen to the music or to go for their favorite movie and it also send the alert signal regarding the traffic and it also sends periodically the weather condition and it is also assist right how to go and other things also and um, it also says 
how uh, well enough it can make the parking to it also, right? So in the starting also, I told you, right? It is mainly I want to focus about the application of IoT in the healthcare. So we can see in this PPT, right? So what are the IoT sensors has been used? So which can be communicated to the internet where it can be given to various people to alert for it, right? So you can see there is a medical server which holds all the data into it that can be used for the uh, periodic monitoring of a patient and whenever it is required, right? Whenever it exceeds a certain threshold limit, it automatically alerts the doctor or to the nearby people to give up special attention to the patient. It also helps to send emergency messages to the ambulance in case of uh, any emergencies. It helps mainly the old people where it, they have a continuous monitoring also. And it can alert to the physician also. It gives a continuous touch. They can monitor, monitor the patient remotely. So we have a various sensor to monitor our health. So here are the few which has been given. So we have a blood pressure sensor. So all these things are comes as a wearable. So we can have it for the old age people or the people who need a special care during their uh, medical emergency. So we have a blood pressure sensor. <coughs> we have an oxygen sensor. We have a glucometer sensor which measures about the sugar level. We have a spirometer, snore sensor, and it has a alert the patient button, right, based on that. And it has a body position sensor, temperature sensor, and EMG sensor, ECG sensor. So these two are mainly to identify about your pulse rate here. So it sends about the cardiac rhythmic pattern. So whenever it observes that there is a change or there is a difference in the rhythmic pattern that will be automatically alert to the nearby patient. So you'll be having a cloud app where all this data will be stored. And using this, the physician or the caretaker can observe about the patient regularly. And whenever there is a need or a care to be given, it can be given or lent immediately here. So again, uh, so the sensors which are used for it, right? So body temperature sensor we have, electrocardiogram, ECG sensor is there. So we can leave a patient with all this sensor and we can monitor wherever you are. So main thing or main advantage of the IoT is you can use it remotely and you can make the assistance remotely also. So it makes the people to be get connected wherever, wherever you are and however you are also. That is the main uh, beauty of this IoT. So we can see the pulse sensor, how it will be is, right? So it comes like a wearable device. So if it has been with your place, right, where you need to sense your pulse, yeah, you can have it in your wrist. So this is the one which is available in your smartwatch also. So which uh, sends about your pulses and gives you the heartbeat rate for uh, every second or every minute. So this is the one which is called as a MIMO. So this is mainly to use for the infant, right? So we cannot see about the condition or we cannot guess about the condition of the kids also. So in order to maintain or in order to sense the temperature or the body position or the activity level, right? So this MIMO helps to get connected to the parent. So where they can see about the uh, position of the baby and if it is in the sleeping or if it has been wake, then it is giving you the alert signal to the parent where they can uh, give their attention immediately also. And sometimes the temperature also, we cannot know by touching it. So this one will be sensing the temperature and it says that whether it is a normal or we need a care to take it for that. And this is an, another application which is called Vitality. So this will be presented at the top of the cover. So this says that uh, what is the number of pills available also. So this helps uh, old age people to get the medicine immediately when it is going to be emptied here. So it sends a reminder message like a notification so that it can be refilled and it can make the people to get 
medicated continuously here, right? So the wireless chip, which is available at the top of the bottle, will send you the notification to the nearby people or to the caretaker. So using this, that uh, bottle can be filled again with the tablet. So this is mainly used for the old age people or the people who are with the disabled also. And this is the one which is known to all the people, which is called as an uh, smartwatch. So which is used to make for all, right? So it can give you any kind of condition, uh, any kind of a condition. So you can have a sensor like a uh, health related sensor. So which says that what is your heart rate, oxygen rate, how many steps you have been taken. So even the sleep activity is also monitored by this. So it gives you whether you are with a good health or not. So it is also says that uh, with a gesture, it can make a music to play or in you have advanced smartwatch where it can see your face with the emotion on the face, it uh, plays the song automatically also. So we have many applications with the wearable devices, which is come into picture due to this internet of things. So that's all about the applications of IoT. We'll see about the advantages, disadvantages. Then we'll go for some application using this Tinkercad, right? So advantages, right? With the advantages, we can see that so this device can be connected anywhere. And we can also get information from anywhere, anytime, and using any devices also. So this IoT builds communication very well compared to the earlier days. So improved communication, we can get the data time to time without any interruption also. So it can transfer the data packets over a connected network so that the time and the money will also be saved. So this automation, right? This automation helps in marketing strategy. It improves the quality of the business services and it reduces the human intervention, right? So it makes everything to be automated. So the human resources which are required more in number will be reduced. And it also avoids the errors caused by the human also. It makes the data always available with the cloud application. So you can be connected anytime, anywhere here. And what are the disadvantages, right? Ultimately, the one of the main disadvantages, it makes the people more lazier because it, it automates all, right? So the people doesn't know what is the real temperature is. The people doesn't know how it can be worked. The people doesn't know uh, how to make it also because everything is automated, right? So that is the main disadvantage of the IoT is. So we can see the few other things also, right? So due to the number of connected device increases, so the data will be shared between the devices, which increases the uh, stealing of a data to be more here, right? So it gives a way to the hacker where they can get the information easily, they can steal the information and it can be made publicly available also. That is the main threat to the Internet of Things. And when you see about the enterprises, right, they have to deal with massive numbers, right? So it may be with a million and it can be many more also. Collecting and managing all those data, right, it all will be a challenging one here. And if there is any small error, right, what we can call it as a bug, right? So it will be likely to transfer to all the connected device which make the entire system to be corrected also. This is the one which is a main thread, right? If uh, someone who want to hack it, they can simply get one devices and they can make the device to be working it with abnormal range. So it makes the entire system to be collapsed also. This is the main thread in the Internet of Things. And there is no international standard for the compatibility still. So it is a real challenging it and many researchers are going on still to improve the uh, standardization of the IoT. So that now pre, uh, present condition, it is with a disadvantage. And coming to the challenges, so we have insufficient testing and updation. So data security is the main challenging one here. And the complexity of the application or the software, what we are using, it is also increased. So more number of data is generated, volume is high, and the analyze of the data is also more in number. There is a challenging in integrating with the artificial intelligence and making it to be automated also. So even though we have many applications, still there is a problem with the integration. 
so the devices are mostly battery operated so that makes the application a very very challenging one here so this devices require a constant power supply which is very difficult to go for it also and these devices are mainly used only for the short range communication so and interaction this is a also a very challenging one here right so this is about my presentation so you would have heard about the periodic table for the chemistry right so all the elements into it so this is a beautiful slide where uh, every enterprises right which are using the iot in various things so it has been designed as a periodic table also you can see it so all the green color are related to the wearable devices right so and all the blue color which is mainly related to the industrial oriented and you can see that uh, connected cars right which is going to be with a green color so similarly you have for health related farming related and other things also so uh, i have got from cb insights so which has been clear clear right this shows the grace towards the iot also so with this presentation right i would glow i would like to go for some practical implementation because only with the right so only with the uh, ppt you cannot enjoy the iot so i would like to go with the practical applications uh, dear coordinator so i think uh, i have a time so i can go for it right is there any issue i can continue shall i continue for uh, <clears throat> 10 to 15 minutes okay ma'am okay ma'am thank you ma'am so dear all you can see right so you can go to a website called tinkercad.com so this is a website so it is open to all where you can simulate also so this is not only for the iot application so you can use it for many so i'll show simply you want to if you want to create an account you can go for a sign up so where you can uh, join as a student or you can join as a educator also so you can create right you can create it by your own simply it will ask only the names and the email id you want to give your uh, communication num or contact number so since i have the account so i'll go directly so i have a gmail id so which i have been connected to it so if you have a gmail also you can connect it directly to it so you are you can go for it right so this is a one right so where you can see about the various things into it here so you can do the designing of anything here right so you can create any application here so you can you can see here tinker is there so you can make a 3d design you can make a circuit design or if you are interested in the programming you can go for a coding also so this coding it will be very useful because like uh, gaming here so this is implemented with the scrap right so where you can uh, no need to write the code uh, simply drag and drop with the block you can build a program by your own so you have a simulation lab and you can also create an app for your uh, ipad right and this is for your auto discus right so now i straight away go to the circuits so where you can create it by your own right so you can see it right this is the application where you can see so by default the tinker card will give something so you can name it with a simple right so i'll give it as some example program so you i have created right so you can see the name can be given here 
So here you can see, right? So this is a place where you can go for the various component. So you can select, right? If you are a beginner, you can go for basic component. So you can see, right? So that is a resistor. That is an LED. You have a push button. Some of the sensors you have like capacitor, right? Battery. You have a breadboard, Arduino board. So for IoT application, definitely will be using an Arduino board. So I'll take the Arduino board first. Right, you can name the Arduino board if you are using more than one. So I'll use a breadboard also. So this is the one where the component can be get connected. So you can see here, right? This is a breadboard. So all these lines, right? When I touch, you can see that there is a green color. So where the components can be connected into it. So you can see this is a positive point and this is a negative point. For every connectivity, you require the positive and the negative point here. So I'll show only the basic LED, right? So I'll be using an LED here. So you can also set the color to the LED. If I need a green color, I can set a green. If I need to set any orange color, I can set orange. So or any yellow, I can set a yellow, right? Whatever the color you can require, you can set into it. So you will have a two point, right? One is a cathode, another one is an anode. So to make the regular supply, right, we'll go with the power. So you can see the, you can see the Arduino board. So here you can see that all this analog input, and this is a digital input. You can connect it to any any line here. So first I'll give the power to the breadboard. So I'll be connecting here, right? So I'll select it ground. So you can give the connectivity here. So since it is a ground, so I'll change the color here. You can see, you can change the color also. So I just give it as a black, right? Now I'll take the positive, so which has been connected to the next end, right? So I'll give it to the positive point. So since it is, you can change the color, right, to get it identified. So I just give the positive color as a green and negative as a white, right? Then you can give a resistor, right? Because resistor is the one where it is going to regulate the power supply, right? So it is going to be with the 220 ohms. So for a normal application. So you can also rotate the devices like this, right? So I just give it or connect it to the right so that to the device now i will connect the wire so you have a thing right you can see the code has been written to it automatically you can see so automatically with respect to the uh, connectivity so it makes a code develops right you can see here you have a code so when you click, right, so you will get it again. So here you can see whether you can have a code which is going to be drag and drop or you can use both block as well as text. So here you can see for this block automatically you have a code into it, right? So it has written a code, so which is C++. So automatically code has been written. So now I'll check whether my LED is working or not, right? So I'll be giving a start simulation. You can see my light is switched on, switched off, right? So it is switched on, switched off with respect to the delay. So you can also see a LED which is in the Arduino board. So which is going to make blink, right? So you can see this gives an indication the Arduino board is switched on and the LED is also playing. So now I want to change the timing between the switch on and switch off. So you can see. I just stop the simulation, go to the code again. So here you can see it has been given with the one second, right? So forever means it is continuously repeating the thing. So it one LED will be high after one second. It is going to be low after one second. Again, it is high. So now I will increase the time. You can see, right? I am giving 10 seconds for high and one second for the low. 
So you can see the simulation here. So you can see the LED is on for 10 seconds. You can see the simulation. So the timing is given. After the 10th second, it is going to be switched off. And after one second, it is going to be switched on here, right? So you can change the timing here. So you can also change the timing and you can see so how the simulation is working on us, right? So now I have given five seconds for stop. So it started. So it is on now. So you can see after the 10 second. So it is 10 second now. So it is switched off, switch on, and again it is going on, right? So simple application. So uh, you can see many videos into it. So many applications are there. They simply you can have many LED. So you can see the photos, right? Where the LEDs will be switched on, switch off. Alternate LEDs will be switched on. So all those things can be simulated using this Tinkercad website. So you can utilize it. Many uh, videos are inbuilt in the Tinkercad itself. You can go through it and you can explore it also, right? So here various sensors are there. Instead of going to buy the Arduino and working with the experience, you can simulate it first. If it works well, then you can use a real sensor and you can experience the IoT application also, right? So many sensors are there. You can uh, utilize it and you can work on it also. So that's all about my today's session. So I'll come back. So thank you all for joining. So once again, I thank uh, all the faculty members as well as the management of SA Engineering College. So who has given a wonderful opportunity to address the students because learning is a never ending one and knowledge sharing is also a very good thing. So uh, I thank again and again for providing us such a wonderful opportunity for me. So have a joyful learning. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, ma'am. This session was really amazing and you can acquire your knowledge. It's time for quiz. The participants are requested to join the quiz link, which is provided in the chat box. Participants are requested to open your browser and type the URL as join the quiz. Good evening, everyone. We are going to start the quiz game for today's session. Join at www.kahoot.it and enter the game pen. I'll wait for everyone to join. I request everyone to join at www.kahoot.it. Ma'am, shall I start? Yeah, you can. The first question, who coined the term IOT? Kevin Ashton, Dennis Ritchie, Albert Einstein, Bill Gates. I repeat the question again, who coined the term IOT? No right answers, okay. We have Vortex in the first place. Now, second question, what does IOT stand for? Internet of Technology, Integrated Object Technology, Internet of Things, Intranet of Technology. I repeat the question again. 
What does IOT stand for? Okay, we got no right answers again. Vortex still in the first place. What is the primary purpose of the Internet of Things, IOT? To connect people via social media, to connect everyday objects to the internet, to create virtuality, virtual reality environments, to develop advanced gaming consoles. Yes, that's the correct answer. Kheer is in the first place. Which of the following is an example of an IO device? A traditional landline telephone, a toaster that can be controlled remotely via an app, a regular refrigerator, a standard wristwatch. I repeat the question again. Which of the following is an example of an IO device? Eight right answers. Okay. Here in the first place. Let's move on. What does a sensor do in an IOT device? It provides internet connectivity. It processes user commands. It displays information on a screen. It collects and sends data to other devices or systems. I repeat the question again. What does a sensor do in an IOT device? 14 right answers. Here in the first place. Which technology is often used to wirelessly connect IO devices? Bluetooth, Ethernet, dial up connection, fax machine. Fourteen right answers. What does the term smart home refer to? A home with a large number of televisions, a home that is energy efficient, a home with advanced automation and connectivity features, a home built with eco-friendly materials. Fifteen right answers. Here in the first place. Which of the following is not a potential benefit of using IOT in industries? Increased manual labor, reduced operational costs, improved efficiency and productivity, all of the above. Five right answers. Key is still in the first place. The last question. What does interconnectivity mean in the context of IOT? Devices being physically tied together. Devices being able to share data and communication with each other. Devices being displayed on a single screen. All of the above. 11 right answers. Riddick in the third place. Vijay Sriniti in the second place. And Keir in the first place. Congratulations, students. The first three winners are requested to type their name and mail ID in the given chat box. I'm grateful to the esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and effort in making this event a great success. I also extend my sincere thanks to honored resource person and the heads of department 
ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റി ആൻഡ് സയൻസ് സി എസ് സി ഐ ടി ഇ സി ഇ ട്രിപ്പിൾ ഇ എ ഡി എസ് എ എം എൽ സിവിൽ മെക്കാനിക്കൽ സി എസ് ബി എസ് ആൻഡ് സൈബർ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി ദ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പൻസ് ആർ ഓൾസോ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ടു ഫുൾ ദ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് ഫോം വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഗിവ